January 6, three years later. Court martial proceedings. The D.C. National Guard whistleblower alleges that Trump's commander-in-chief powers were revoked by the military brass during January 6th Capitol riot. Now in April, the House Subcommittee Oversight Hearing noticed. These are National Guard whistleblowers who step forward to tell the truth, to correct the media's lies and the narrative that has been pushed for so long. See, four members of the National Guard testified on April 10th that they were ready to deploy on January 6th, but the Pentagon held them back. Now, this is what brings us into question with General Miley's actions. Commander Sergeant Major Michael E. Brooks, Colonel Earl G. Matthews, Aaron Dean, retired, and Captain Timothy Nick stepped forward and testified before Congress to correct the record of January 6th. Now, the Gateway Pundit had previously reported that former Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Washington, D.C. Mural Mural Browser were both warned about the security situation prior to January 6th and both turned down the National Guard. See, Just the News had actually reported this two weeks before. Even Chris Ray, FBI, also refused to notify the Trump administration and its cabinet secretaries, and they believed that there could have been violence like the mass protest at the Capitol that took place that day. But Nancy Pelosi also refused the National Guard at this U.S. Capitol due to policy. Capitol Police Chief Steve Sun said that he had asked the House and Senate security officials for permission to request that the D.C. National Guard be placed on standby in case they were needed, but they were both turned down. Matthew sat down with the Daily Mail and reported that the senior military leadership essentially stripped the president of his authority as a commander-in-chief to preliminary planning to go against orders because they didn't like the optics of uninformed soldiers at the Capitol. Sorry, uniform. He goes on to state that I think a very plausible argument can be made that through no fault of his own, President Trump's command authority over both the D.C. National Guard and the U.S. Army itself had been surreptitiously curtailed. By the senior leadership of the Army on January 6, 2021. He continued that the Army leadership had unreasonably anticipated an unlawful order from the President, an order that the President had no plans to issue and were preemptively seeking to curtail this direction issues with such an order. So, Mali and other military leaders revoked our Commander in Chief. The President of the United States that day and refused to move in the National Guard because it might look bad? Really? Think about that for a minute. For educational purposes only. This was nothing more than a setup, in my opinion. Do you see the, the problem here the Supreme Court is truly probably having? president has immunity okay that's what the argument is but if the president and the commander-in-chief at the time was needing to take care of things and just because the Joint Chiefs and Molly and Pelosi had an idea and a feeling that this was going to happen with no factual basis of evidence then you prevented our commander-in-chief for doing his job, you should be court-martialed. Country crazy out.